Hello everybody, this is Mr. Halim from Harmony Science Academy West Houston. We have done a water potential lab with you. We did this lab using the potato course. First we mass the potato course and record their value as their initial mass and leave them overnight in the different kind concentrations of super solutions. We, did, we mass them again and record their value as final mass and we're gonna calculate the percent change in mass today to see if they have gained water, if they have lost water, or if they have no change in their mass. So that will help us a lot to calculate their water potential because if there is no change in their mass, that means they have not gained any water or if they have not lost any water. So they, they were in a isotonic solution. So if we know the concentrate no solution so we can calculate the um, water potential of the potato course so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna calculate the mass difference first I'll use the formula bar pro property for of the Excel work spreadsheet I will put an equal sign here and then go click on the final final mass value minus initial mass and click enter this is the difference in final mass and initial mass. So I'm not gonna do the same thing for each of the cells. I will just copy this cell and Excel will apply the same formula for each cell. These are the mass differences and I need to calculate the percent change in mass. The formula for the percent change in mass is simply final mass minus initial mass, which is mass difference and divide it by initial mass. So I will just divide this value by the initial mass. To do this, I will put the equal sign first. I have my mass difference value divided by the initial mass. And when I click enter, this is my percent change in mass. Again, I'm not gonna do the same thing for each of the cells. I will just copy this and Excel will apply the same formula for each cell. So these are my values for um, percent change in mass and I have a best fit line here using this best fit line I can make predictions about the about the solutions so at the point at which this line crosses the x-axis is the molarity of a solution that is isotonic with the potato cores so using this value, I can calculate the um, water potential of the potato cores. Since the per percent change in mass is not changing here, or mass is not changing here, this value represents that there is no um, change in water in the potato cores. They don't have, they don't, they don't lost, they didn't lose any water. They didn't gain any water. They didn't change, so they were in an isotonic solution. So uh, how I'm going to calculate this number is it is divided by 5 squares from 0 to 0 0.2. So each of them is 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0 0.08, 0 0.012, 0 0.012, 0 0.16, and 0.2. So this value is something very close to 0.16 it is between 0.12 and 0.16 so I can uh, predict this value and use that value to calculate the water potential of the potato course using the formula uh, that ICRT minus ICRT where I is the ionization constant um, C is the concentration which we calc which we predicted here r is the uh, ideal ga gas constant and t is the temperature in kelvin so using that formula you can easily calculate the person ch i mean you can easily calculate the water potential of the potato course thanks for watching harmony public schools see you next time